up to the last video we have completed the analysis of our circular water tank now we will design and the post processing mode we will learn then that how we design the circular water tank and how we can see our results for each element like beam columns and slabs and any plates how many stresses was come how many forces was come in each element so by clicking on post processing mode you can see your results in this element this is your displacement tab it will provide you that how many displacement will come in each node like 209 node that is at here and like for all the load combination there are like uh, i use I was used 45 combinations, so there are all the types of the loads, and for each type of the load, there are each uh, displacement in x, y, z in respective directions. So you can see the all the results for the node displacement for every load combinations and every individual load in any direction, like x, y, z, and rotations also. So for the node you have to check only these values and by clicking on summary button you can see the maximum and minimum values also for the displacement at node 210 maximum displacement by the due to the 22 numbers of load combinations in x y z direction will be open so you can see all the beam results all the node results for our water tank and you can see our reactions also by double clicking on the bottom nodes double click at any node and click on reactions by clicking on this you can see the how many reactions was come these are our load displacements and you can you can see our loads supports displacement reactions also so these are the displacements for every node and there are forces at every node are there for this the forces is there are present reactions in x direction y direction z direction also and by clicking on summary you can see the maximum results for the beam results you can see the fx force in x direction, force in y direction, force in all three directions and moments for all three directions you can see for the beam results for each and every load and for each and every load combination and by clicking two times on any beam you can see the individual results also like displacement, deflection, shear bending all the things that we have covered in last video and by clicking on summary same we can see maximum fx minimum fx also by which load the maximum fx will come on the 49th number of beam at node 1 so that are the values so you can see our maximum values for every beam element now click plate results and select the stress type there are a lot of number of stress type so we can use the principal major stresses maximum torque and uh, click on apply so it will give okay it will give the how many stresses will come over the surface and over the plate in at every node by clicking any of the plate you can see geometric property constant center stresses how many stresses will come by the earthquake x1 for each and every load and principal stress is center stresses each value you can see here by double clicking on any click and by clicking on stress summary it is also like last part as the beam and nodes the maximum values we can see by which load combination and which click so this is your analysis part and post processing that how many loads will come on over our structure.
so now we we'll go to the design part so click on design and select your property like concrete steel and aluminum material property so we use concrete because we design the rcc structure so click on current code and select your code is456 now we have to define our parameters that how many bracings there how many depth of the slab that to the beam everything that you want so there is clb clb means clear power for outer outermost bottom reinforcement and beam clear cover for outermost main reinforcement clear cover for outermost core because for the beams you know 25 mm is the clear cover so you can use and assign to the beams by clicking on add button so i will use only important things that we have to use in our structure so we have to use the concrete compressive strength that is 40 mega pascal so in kilonewton per meter square there will be three zero more and click on add now we have used the yield strength for our main reinforcement steel so we can take 550 mega pascal and other three zero are so here and add for the secondary bars like shear reinforcement we can take 45415 mega pascal at 415 grade of steel so three zeros also there yeah. click on add you can take the maximum and diameter that how many diameter how many the size of the diameter that you want in your structure as per your site conditions and market maximum and secondary and for as per the minimum also are there minimum secondary minimum main maximum secondary maximum main. and the ratio ratio that to here for the beams the maximum ast should not be more than 4% in the construction area of our beam that is the code codal provision of our is456 from the beam design so you can assign it also to the beams by click on add button and i will take the track track means how many details you want to print it in your output So I want maximum details are printed in my output file. So click on two and add this, and then close. Now we have to select our commands. That because start को ये पता नहीं है कि कौन सा हमारा beam structure है, कौन सा column structure है, कौन सा slab है. तो ये हमें अलग से sign करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि coder provision भी वो उसी के according वो उधर से carry on करेगा. So we have to assign the design beam element. Add this. and for the columns design column and for the take off take off means it will provide that how many volume of concrete we have to use to make our structure and how many steel weight that ki hame steel ki kitni quantity chahiye hamare structure ko bada banane ke liye aur concrete ka kitna material kitna volume chahiye ki hamare structure pura complete ho jaye to ye hame wo property deta hai so we have to assign this so take off and add this close now we have to assign these properties as per their convenience fc means hamari compressive strength concrete ko to ye hame sabhi ko assign karna hai so it should be assigned all the members so click on assign to group assign and then click on yes now fy main because the steel are provided in all the structure so we have to use also assign to group and for the fy secondary because the secondary walls are also there in our whole structure so we have to do assign to this for this also and track it will give to the information to us that how many force how many moment will come so it should be provided for all the elements so click on assign to group and then assign now design for the beams so we have to select the beam elements so we can select by click on select bar and uh, see in geometry because the beams are parallel to the xz plane there are the beams that are parallel to xz planes so click on parallel and click on to xz plane and we have to give the range because how many to how many height up to which height we have to select our beams so minimum range is 0 and maximum range you can take 50 meter because up to 50 meter there is no any member 
so you can assign this so assign to selected bin and assign and then yes now for the columns because the columns are parallel to by whichever which axis that is parallel to axis so same select bar and select beams parallel to y axis and then assign this so we have assigned all the properties to our elements now we have to do the analysis and design part so run analyze and then save this then it will provide you then how many errors will come warnings how many members will fail so it will provide the results as per your requirement so there are zero errors so हमारे स्ट्रक्चर को सेफ रखने के लिए एरर एक भी नहीं होनी चाहिए सो ट्राई दिस कि देयर शुड बी जीरो एरर वॉर्निंग चाहे हो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है नाउ वी गो टू द व्यू आउट टू फाइल एंड क्लिक ऑन डन एंड यू कैन सी योर आउट टू फाइल इन दिस आउट टू फाइल द ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी हैव मेड इन आवर मॉडल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑल द थिंग्स इज इन इट like there are our joints so the all the coordinates of our nodes are present here and all the members like beam and columns connecting nodes all the summary that we want the loads that we have signed loads fcu found of material properties concrete the all the things it will provide to us loading combinations and the uh, strength and other properties so we go down and see the concrete design double tap on concrete design so here you can check code in india and to all the material all the beams and columns all the members we have assigned the fc 40 mega pascal and for all the fi main 550 mega pascal F5 secondary 415 mega pascal, and we have assigned beams 9 to n. This is the added list. So you can check. This is your beam number one. These are our beam results. Design of beams. As per IS 456, beam design results are presented here. So the concrete F C K is equal to N40. Grade of steel for main bars F550. Grade of Still for secondary bar F P four one five. The length of the member is this, and the size that we have provided, and the cover is thirty mm as per the code. It was choose automatically from the code. We don't have to assign this. There are the load summary. Load summary means it will give the values of loads and moment at every section in for in different directions. and this is our reinforcement summary in it we can check there are how many bars we have to provide in our structure so as you know for the simply supported beam if we apply any load so there will be maximum shear force will be generated and developed at the supports and the maximum bending moment will develop at the center so stirrups are given for the shear force and the main main reinforcement at the top and bottom are given for the bending moments so stirrups should be more at the supports because there is more shear force so at the support spacing is less as you can see in the result at the support spacing is less means there are number of rebars are more so at the support spacing is less at the mid there is less shear force so there should be less length spacing so you can see all the beams beam number 10 all the loads are and all the reinforcements are now click on column so as the column as you see the beam results you can see the column results also column number 49 and 40 grade of the concrete have to 550 main reinforcement have to 415 second reinforcement length is 4 meter cross section we have take the 1 meter diameter and cover is 40 mm from the core it will automatically detected here 
and uh, as you see the diagram design axis force design forces nomads this is our important part jo hamare kaam ka hai ki hame required steel area kitna chahiye aur concrete area kitna available hai so hame kitna provide karna hai 34 12 mm dia ki 34 parts divide karna hai jo 0.49% of the cross section area hoga and tie you know what is the tie tie are the lateral bars lateral ties in the columns that we have to provide 8 mm of the dia at the spacing of 190 mm center to center so you can see all the columns for every column now we go to below we scroll down because we have used the take off operation and so i was told there that that will give us that how many quantity of the steel how many quantity of the concrete we have to use for make our structure so there you can see the total volume required for the concrete is 338 for 9 cubic meter and uh, as per the different diameter of bars for the item of that we have to use weight of 24485 meter well 10 mm dia 12 mm dia ye ye batata hai ki hame kitne dia ke kitna material kitna weight mein humko steel chahiye to isme 8 mm ka jo bar hoga उसके लिए 24,485 न्यूटन का हमारा वेट होना चाहिए बार का तो हम मार्केट से जाएंगे खरीदने तो हमको सिर्फ यही बताना है कि 10 एम का इतना दे दो 12 एम का इतना सो टोटल वेट हमारा इतना आ गया सो दैट इट विल फिनिश सो इट इज योर आउटपुट फाइल दैट विल गिव यू द अप्रोप्रिएट आइडिया एज योर स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन एंड यू कैन डबल क्लिक ऑन एनी एलिमेंट टू सी द रिजल्ट लाइक i click double tap on this so this is our beam geometry properties loading shear bending displacing up to it we have discussed concrete design as you can see here are the zero zero section at the mid span at the end the bars seven bars for 265 mm 12 mm these are the idea that we have seen in how to file also so you can see how many bars length we have to use and by double clicking on the column you can see the also results for it deflection and then concrete design there should be 12 bar 12 mm dia 19 bars we have to provide so these are your results of the beam and columns so design is complete and in this video we have learned how to assign the loads uh, how to analyze how to design and how to do the post processing to see our stresses and our results so thank you guys